Hey everyone, it's Wolfter97 here, and today we are going to be doing an unboxing of the Persona 3 Reload keycaps from Height. And first impressions so far are very good. I'm really digging this packaging right here. Very minimal, very aesthetic. I like it. Yeah, having a bit of a hard time opening this box right here. It's freaking Fort Knox up in here, and uh, all right. We got the thing opened up nice and good. Got a very, very scary mask right there. I'm gonna move this to the side so that way I don't scream out of fear. And uh, let's take a good look at those keycaps right there. Ooh, nice and good. Look at the colors on those. Mm -mm -mm, that, I that iconic Persona 3 blue right there. Man. I won't lie, if I if I didn't know that these were inedible, I probably would stuff them right into my mouth ASAP, but uh, fortunately they're not. Also, they're really expensive, so I can't just be putting anything in my mouth willy-nilly. So instead, we're going to be putting them on this keyboard right here, which is a Razer Black Widow V3 Mini. Join me, please, as we begin this endeavor with, of course, the escape key, which is what I'd like to do right now, but we are in this for the long haul. And we place our very first keycap on there, which has the dark hour clock, which fittingly enough signifies just how long this endeavor is going to take. It's going to be quite a <laughs> quite a long time until we get this thing done. So I'm going to be speeding up a, a lot of this footage by a thousand percent. Now let's move on to the the numbers, the number row right here. And boop, boop, boop. It's quite, it's quite fun taking out these keycaps right here, and it's also even more fun spraying underneath them with this compressed air, which um, I really, really need because I don't really take care of my keyboards too much. There's a lot of hair and other particles such as food and, I don't know, like dandruff that fall underneath them. To hide all that, we place the number keys right there. And we take on our very first boss, a backspace key, which has those little black things that connect to the keycaps to make them nice and flush so that way they don't like, you know, tip around and stuff. And uh, after defeating these enemies, I place the keycaps over their corpses. And uh, we have the very first part of Tartarus right there with the full moon. We place these keycaps right here on the side. And uh, those are very weird because um, they don't really fit height-wise with the other keycaps, some of them stick up a little bit higher than they should. And this is something that I noticed with my other height keycaps, the uh, Hololive EN Concert keycaps. So I don't know what it is, I don't know if that's intentional, but uh, let's not focus on that and instead focus on this left shift. As well as this space key, my lord, I have so much removed footage that I had of me trying to get these things off. It's quite embarrassing, so it was removed for a reason. Yeah, go screw yourselves, keyboard manufacturers. I do not know why you had to make it so difficult. And now we celebrate our victory of defeating that enemy by putting on all the QWERTY keycaps. And ooh, look at those. Looks so good. Then we place on the side keys right here, which have a lot of designs from the game. Then we move on to the other side right there. Bottom row, then move up to the other rows right there before focusing on the big ones right here. Final boss, it's this food particle. And I, I don't know what that is. I, I honestly thought for a second, maybe I should eat it so that way I could figure out once and for all what it is, but you know, thankfully I was thinking right for once and I decided against it. And now we place all the keys to uh, complete Tartarus. Quite a nice looking design. Put on the arrow keys, yummy. Which by the way, aren't those the arrow like icons for like Yukari's bow and stuff? I don't know. But then we continue putting on the QWERTY keys as well as the bottom keys right there. And now we move on to the real final boss here, the space bar key, which I have a very, very difficult time taking out from the plastic. Jeez Louise. I'm not taking any of this out, by the way. I want you all to suffer with me and boom, got it out. And by the way, let's take a nice close look at this. We got Philemon the butterfly with Makoto Yuki walking on a really long line. I don't know what that signifies, but I don't know. Maybe it's like life or something. And there we go. The final keycap, the space bar, and look at that. Our work is done and let's enjoy the fruits of our labor, shall we? Allow me to turn on the shitty RGB and revel in this butte. Wow. Those lights really make it look worse than it actually <laughs> than it actually is. I should have put like some white white lights on beforehand, but whatever. I end up turning it off anyways. And uh, let's take a look and see how it sounds. 
Nice, nice. I actually have the uh, video muted, so I don't know how it actually sounds while I'm watching this, but I assume it sounds good. This keyboard sounds pretty good on its own, and I'm assuming the keycaps most likely make it sound better. And uh, right here, I noticed that I did not push the space bar all the way down while applying it. So I get around to doing that, and I, I know, I know, how embarrassing. Anyways, besides that, uh, closing thoughts, the, the Persona 3 Reload keycaps from uh, Height are very, very aesthetically pleasing. Anyways, I'm stressed out, so I'm gonna end the video, and I'm gonna eat this gigantic handful of old keycaps that I got from the side right here.